welcome to part two. This is basically going to be documenting the recovery side of my PRK laser eye surgery. Today is day zero. I got the surgery five hours ago. I'm basically going to be vlogging the next week or so because that's when I get my bandage contact lenses out um, and keeping you up to date on what the recovery is like. So I want to give an update of where I am right now. I'm wearing the glasses because it's just so much less strain on my eyes and I do have them closed right now as well. It's just a lot more comfortable to have them closed. It still feels like I've got some sort of like grit in my eyes. So if you've ever gotten like sand in your eye or like an eyelash in your eye, it just feels a little bit uncomfortable. I would rate the discomfort maybe like a two or three out of 10. It's mostly annoying and irritating, but not painful. My eyes are not watering anymore, which is nice. <laughs> oh yeah, not gonna lie, I'm a little bored. I've downloaded some awesome podcasts, but there are only like so much you can listen to for like one, two, three hours before you start to get a little bored. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do to stay occupied and like keep a pretty regular routine. Good morning, it's day one, so the day after the surgery. I can't see the screen. I can kind of see, kind of can't see. So I can see that the little focus thing is on me, so I hope that I'm in focus, but there's no way of really telling. I'm on my way to my 9.45 a.m. check-in with Dr. Faber. We are heading down to his office right now to see, I guess, how things are going. How you doing? Doing okay. I don't really feel anything in my eyes, so the discomfort level is like zero out of 10, which is really weird. I also can't really see. So I am keeping my eyes closed most of the time if I can. This is my look. All right, I'm home from the checkup. He said that everything looks good and I have a follow-up for this Monday. So today is Friday. August the 14th. We're still on day one of recovery. So far my discomfort is still 0 out of 10. 0 out of 10 being like I don't feel anything. So there's like absolutely no discomfort. The only thing worth noting is that I'm in this stage where I can kind of see, kind of can't see. So I can see things. Like I can see the paintings on the wall. But I can't really see the details so the lines are still very fuzzy a bit weird to be focusing on things like screens right now so i haven't really been on my phone too much what i did have christian do for my phone is i don't know if you can like see but everything like my text is all 300x so that i can actually like read it but it's very weird it's never really in focus but i can kind of like make out what the letters say so honestly at this point i'm just trying to get by what is, what's the drop schedule one is four times a day and one is two times a day yep so we did the first set this morning and now we're doing the second set of drops for the day i want to test something so i've got my I, I know what this is. These are my omega-3s and my fish oils. And I'm gonna just sort of see how, like where I have to place them to be able to actually read. So, it's sharp about right here, but I can also read it from back here. So the bottle, ooh, I'm still getting like a little bit of a sting but like the bottle is pretty, it's not like perfect, but it's fairly sharp at this point. So this down here, I can't read. I can read the one per day uh, at arm's length away, although it's very blurry, but I can definitely read the 900 milligrams and the omega-3s from, from arm's length away. Omega-3, 900 milligrams. <laughs> Two, and I need some drops because my eyes are definitely stinging a little bit this morning. And I'm like, give me those drops. It's hard to keep your eyes open and stare straight at the thing that's gonna be assaulting your eyeball. But I did it. Now we sit here with my eyes closed for a minute. This one stings, what was it? Uh, antibacterial. Ah, oh, it stings a little bit. I find 
time, looking up is the easiest way to do drops. That's cool. Ultimately, I would prefer to do them myself because that's what I'm used to, but if someone else is going to be doing my drops, I find it's kind of freaky to stare right up at the dropper. <laughs> and it's better to like look up and then have them drop it into my eye. Good morning. It is day three. I had an interesting morning because if you've had PRK before or when you do get it, what you'll notice is that you start to make comparisons to how your vision was the day before versus what it's like today. And today I woke up and things looked pretty sharp. And I was really excited because I could see this one art piece on my wall. I could see the flowers by my bed. And I was like, am I? there am i healed am i done pretty much i got really excited i woke up this morning i attempted a light workout so that i wasn't sweating or anything and then i went down to the coffee shop that's near my place which sort of gives me some of that independence back because it is quite restrictive and boring recovering from eye surgery and so being able to do things that I would normally do, like go to the coffee shop really, makes me feel more normal. And I realize that I can't see a thing. Like distance is still blurry, people are still blurry, and I'm probably not even halfway there yet. But I'm also really happy to report that in terms of side effects, I haven't had a single headache, which has been great. There's different types of light sensitivity. There's Sometimes when you look at light, it can sort of hurt your eyes a little bit. And then there's the type where it's just kind of hard to look at light. So I never experienced the second one, I think until yesterday. It was a really sunny day and I was having a hard time with my sunglasses off. Uh, it was just like, I kept wanting to close my eyes because the light was just, it's just like very overwhelming to your eyes. I went to a family dinner and their home was like very, a lot of natural light so the sun was shining right in and I had to keep my shades on the entire time my eyes haven't been overly dry either which is something that I was kind of concerned about because I have dry eyes I really haven't felt dry eye since the surgery which has been like a pleasant surprise because I heard from people who have had PRK that it's incredibly drying but I had the smart surface PRK so I don't know if that's at all different Ooh, another thing is that I had all of the blinds closed yesterday and I have two of them open today and so far so good it's day four of recovery we're currently on our way um, back to the clinic for my second post-surgery checkup I dressed up a little bit because I haven't really been able to leave the house because of how blind I am so everything's an occasion. Hey, how are you? Hey! So you can see. I'm getting there, yeah. Okay, right here. 29. Yeah. 875. Okay, so legal driving, right? Okay. So you're good to do it, so. Okay, so you're almost 22. One eye is definitely still um, pretty blurry. Yeah. Sometimes they'll go, uh, they'll be a bit of, there will be a scene. Um, so this will feel a little bit better, but actually the, the lenses actually have a bit of a, a bandage effect, right? Yeah. Close your eyes, and so your eyes might actually feel a little bit scratchier before you go to bed tonight, and then tomorrow morning you'll feel, feel a little bit better. Okay? Would you say it's not really comparable to the other lasers? So, totally different. No, oh my so gosh. it's not even, not even close, actually. So close that lens out, and then I'm going to see you again in 10 days. Okay. Okay, so just pretty much can do whatever you like, but just be really careful like with water, shampoo, nothing nothing too crazy with that. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Fowler. Yeah, it's a pleasure. That was such a, a quick appointment. So the vantage contacts are out. It didn't make that big of a difference. They were a little bit, like the tiniest bit cloudy. So I can see the tiniest bit of difference between the bandage contact lenses being on and now when they're completely gone. Yeah, this eye is still behind on the healing, so it's still pretty blurry. This eye is also blurry, but just a little sharper. Like, I just can't stop being am how so amazed at how fast the appointments are and how fast my healing time has been. Like, I only had surgery four days ago, and the bandage contact lenses have already been um, taken out. Definitely wish I did this sooner, but it's a big chunk of money to throw down, but definitely worth it. So it is day five. This morning was exciting. It was the first time I felt comfortable enough to take Mars to the dog park by myself. Um, I worked out again this morning as well. I've been working out, I think I rested on day one and then day two I did a light workout and then day three I was sort of back to my usual, which isn't a super strenuous workout anyways. Like I'm not getting all sweaty or anything. I am experiencing a little bit of dry eye today 
and I was experiencing dry eye yesterday after the bandages came off like a few hours after. Um, but it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. That's it. So one thing that I also did is I inverted my display on my computer and on my phone, which makes it easier to see things when there's that contrast. So my my iPhone is on dark mode and my laptop is on dark mode. making my own cereal. I just finished cleaning the kitchen. I also added some omega-3s to my little vitamin pile because I do, I mean, I had dry eyes before the surgery and then after I was feeling pretty good until the bandage contact lenses came off and then I started to wake up with dry eyes and my eyes started to get a little bit dry at bedtime. So omega-3s or fish oil is supposed to help with that. So, okay, today is day six for updates. My left eye continues to get sharper. I feel like my right eye is kind of catching up at this point. It's still kind of blurry to have things be like pretty close to me. My text on my phone is still turned up all the way. Um, and so is my display on my Mac. So we're still, we're still in big font world for now. Thought I'd be in a lot more like discomfort as things healed, but it was just like, that was it. I feel like these updates are gonna get shorter because I'm doing so well and that's really exciting. I'm back to work in two days, so I'll have some updates around what it's like to try and go back to work. And then I have my checkup with Dr. Faber in, I wanna say maybe eight days now. I'll keep you updated. So it's been a full week since my surgery, as in it is Thursday, and last Thursday around this time, I was getting my eyes lasered, which is pretty wild to think about. Cause I've been waiting so long for the surgery and now not only is it done, but I'm a week out. And I will say that when I woke up this morning, it was the most exciting. When you have your eyes lasered, you wake up every single day so excited to see what you can see. And for the last week, I've been having incremental, just really small improvements. So I'll wake up and I can like see a little bit more, but it's like not really much more than the day before. But today, on day seven, I woke up and I was like, wait a minute, it's great, but it's the close-ups like on my phone or on my camera that is still, or even my laptop, it's still a little bit blurry. But it's okay, we're getting there. When you're recovering from eye surgery, you realize how much you don't wanna do things when you can't see. So I didn't like really leaving the apartment and going for walks because like I couldn't really see, and not just what was around me, but I couldn't see the sidewalk. And there were several occasions where I tripped. Have preferred staying inside my apartment where I kind of know where everything is or I go to my local coffee shop where like I know the route and I know it's flat. I've, I've definitely been staying in my comfort zone. I don't really think this is the time to be going outside your comfort zone, but I've been taking it pretty, pretty chill. Being able to finally see stuff and like I can see my nails. I can see my nails this far away and I can see my nails this far away. So it's all very exciting to just like, the world is blurry and then it's day by day just like getting sharper and sharper and I can't stop smiling. And sometimes I just take a moment and um, I was watching the, was it the Meg or the Meg 2? The Meg, there's no Meg 2 yet. So you're watching the Meg today and there was one scene where Jason Statham is being pulled back to the boat. He's got like a rope attached to him and they're cranking it at the boat to pull him in. And there were scenes where he was like being yanked and being like yanked up into the water and like slapping down. And the first thing that came to my mind was like, if that was me and I was wearing contacts, I'd be screwed. So it's kind of funny where your mind goes when you're used to wearing contacts and you realize all of the things that you've been avoiding for so long because you were afraid your contacts would flip out. like you know, cliff jumping or just basically a lot of things in water. Chased by a shark. Yeah, chased by a shark. I really missed out on years of that because I wore contacts. So checking in, it's actually been a couple days. So we just did a pretty big jump. 
So I went back to work five days ago and I would definitely recommend taking two weeks off if you can. I have a pretty big monitor working at home, but it's definitely tricky to actually like see your work. So if you can take two weeks off or even a week and a half, I would say that's better than one week, especially if you have a desk job. But I haven't really been updating you too, too much because there haven't been those like monumental jumps in my vision. Life is pretty much as usual. I'm, like I can still live my life. I can take Mars to the dog park, I can go grocery shopping. I can, I'm still in this weird spot where I can't really see people's faces super well. So I'm like slightly paranoid. I might see someone that I know, but accidentally be rude and not know that it's them. But aside from that, life is like 90% back to normal, which is super exciting. And today is actually a special day, but I'm bringing you with me. It's been 10 days since my last checkup, which means it's been about two weeks or so since my surgery. So I'm going in for my third checkup to see how my vision is progressing. So let's go. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this sweat set by Meshki. So it's this dark brown um, sweat shorts with a matching tank top. And then this is a random Tommy Bahamas overshort that I found at the thrift store that's just like a really cozy layering piece. This is today's lip color. It's NYX's Powder Puff. It's a powder lip cream in Cool Intentions. So I'm not actually wearing a whole lot. I just dabbed Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and then these vintage Gucci sunnies. So yeah, this is my look for going to get my eye checkup. We go, we go all out for every occasion. When you're in quarantine, everything, everything's an occasion, okay? We're out here dressing up for the grocery store. Back in the same room for my follow up. I'm not playing words with friends today. I'm actually editing some photos from a campaign because my deadline is coming up. You gotta be efficient with your time. Hi. Hey. Oh, it's going well? Very well. Very good, yeah. She, she, she had your surgery the same day as you, though. Oh yeah, how's she doing? Oh, she's doing great. Cool. All right, so uh, it's been like two weeks. So can you read the top line there? 875-6395. Whoa, so, wow, you're like 2020. This one's got some catching up to do. Yeah, okay. oh, yeah, no, it's really good. So what were you saying about this one? Oh, it's just not as sharp, it's still blurry. Yeah, they, heal just, they, they do heal, I mean, they both look the same, but mm -hmm. if they do take a little bit longer sometimes. Those are numbing drops? Yeah. I was just checking your eye pressure because this. All right, good to see you. Take care. Good to see you too. Keep safe. You as well. Thank you. My eyes feel so weird right now. He put numbing drops in them, so if they look a little bit yellow. It's from the drops. But did you hear him when he said I was 2020? So I, my eyes are definitely still healing up at this point. I can see distance, but it's the nearsighted stuff like text on my phone and text on a screen that I'm still waiting to sharpen up, but uh, Dr. Faber said like it'll get there, it just takes time, which I wasn't expecting like a miracle in two weeks. I know it can take like a month for things to get absolutely like perfect. So I am gonna end the vlog here though, because I think this is about as far as I can get it like realistically. I don't know if it's gonna get any better than this for content. Today is two weeks from my surgery. So two weeks post-surgery, I've officially got 2020 vision. I haven't had any light sensitivity, no headaches, no pain, which was a big one. And every day gets a little bit better. I am still on a drop regimen. So that's gonna continue for four more weeks. And then I think I'm like done, done. Definitely was a worthwhile decision, even though like insurance definitely does not come with my insurance. Insurance did not cover this but it was well worth it to invest the money into my eyesight, not have to get up and put contacts in, get up, put glasses on, that whole thing. Just the convenience of just being able to live like most of the world does without glasses is so nice. But I know that some people on my part one video were saying that they were mostly looking out for part two since they'll be getting the surgery themselves soon. So I hope this gave you an insight of what you can expect for Smart Surface PRK Laser Eye Surgery. If you have any follow-up questions, of course, put everything in the comments down below and I will get back to you. 
Um, I'm also very excited for you if you are watching this in anticipation of your own laser eye surgery. I'm officially 2020 20 and 2020 in my 20s. If you're here as someone who's looking to get laser eye surgery, I'm super excited for you and I can't wait to hear about your experience as well. Definitely share it with me down in the comments because I want to know if it's different than mine. If you are a content creator, then an extra little plug for you. I also make digital products on my website so you can find things like media kits if you're going to be pitching brands, email templates if you're not sure how to talk to brands, if you're trying to turn down an offer or send them an offer. Uh, and then also the classic Lightroom presets are all available in the links down below. Made with love from me to you to help you level up as a creator. And that's it. I will catch you in whatever random video I decide to make next. Bye.